Uh, we are going to enjoy this uh, episode, uh, the first part. We are going to visit the facilities of uh, Daciel. And uh, the first question for Daciel is, Daciel, what is the, the main difference between uh, static uh, rigging and uh, dynamic rigging? Rigging, we have two types of rigging on a boat, a uh, typical boat. We have what we call standing rigging. Standing rigging? Yes, and running rigging. Hey guys, standing rigging and running rigging. Running what rigging. is the main difference? Well, standing rigging is like what I have right here. It's on modern boats. It is usually stainless steel cables. Uh -huh. And it's called standing, well, the way that it's easy to remember is standing rigging because for the most part, there are exceptions, but for the most part, is cables or things that are static that don't move correct correct and what they do is they're just holding up the mast uh -huh. you know they keep it stable um and they keep it from uh you know from falling down which is definitely not good correct so correct. that's what we have in standing rigging um in the recent years there's been a uh, a new type of standing rigging that's been used and which is synthetic rigging and it's actually it's basically the material yeah it's it's not it's not metal oh. it's more like a line it's a composite know? material yeah it's a it's like a there's a few different brands like uh there's a dyneema spectra there's a couple of different brands and it basically looks just like a regular line uh -huh. but it has a tensile strength of similar or superior than the yes. regular stainless steel yeah yeah you are instructor of sailing uh, one part of the course is uh, is uh, about the lines about the, how to tension the lines how to to uh, uh, use the lines um yeah that's basically one of your first courses uh -huh. um, and it's included with everything else your basic sailing course because this is how you sail a boat yeah you know you have a steering wheel but a steering wheel or a tiller is only part of it yeah what's really most important is your your sheets yeah and your sheets are just your lines that control your sails that is what's going that's how you sail a boat yeah. and that's basically part of sailing um, you know we use winches uh -huh. Uh, which gives you a mechanical advantage, some more electric, uh, you know, if you're feeling a little uh, lazy. These clutches, when you lock them, it just holds the line in place, doesn't let it, you know, come in either direction. Correct. And when you open it, you know, the line is free oh, to, to move. Oh, nice, nice. This is the, the process. Can you repeat the process to, uh, to pass the... Sure. Program? So we get the line always clockwise. Clock right you want to give it at least two or three better turns right and here you can bring the line in correct right and then if you need to become you know if you need to uh, hoist up the sail or trim the sail in you put it in the self tailor right okay lock it then at this point you can let it go and then you can put the winch handle and then you can winch it in theory related with pulleys and uh, what is the meaning of those pulleys. Uh, the first pulley is the single pulley, like this, it's a single pulley. The only, the function of that pulley is change the direction of the force. The single pulley, exactly like uh, the pulley that we have on the screen right now, is a pulley uh, change the direction of the force on a rope or belt that moves along the circumference. That's the single, single pulley. All right, the other pulley that we have uh, here is uh, the movable pulley. Mechanical advantage. What is the typical uh, form, the simple way? What is the simple way to calculate the mechanical advantage? Simple. You count the number of rope segments on each side of the pulleys, including the free, the free rope. If the free rope is is going down no count if the if the free if the free end is going up you add it 
For example, in the first in the first picture, in the first picture you have one, two, and three. But uh, the free end is going down. In that case, the mechanical advantage in the first one is two. Because the number three is going down, no count. Ah, what about the second one? You have one, two, and three lines. But the free end is going up. The mechanical advantage is three. That's simple. I have an example. We are going to practice with this example. This rope and pulley system support 400, 400 pounds of weight. How much is the tension in the rope necessary to hold the weight in equilibrium? How much is the tension in the rope in order to keep the load in equilibrium? Okay, the, the, total, uh, the total weight is 400 pounds. Yeah, and, and the question is how much should be the tension in the rope in order to keep the system in equilibrium? Daciel, other vital component in the rigging procedure is uh, the block and tackles. Correct. Where are located the most common block and tackles? Um, on modern boats, you're most likely always going to find them, especially on your mainsail, the one that controls the boom. Uh -huh. um, most of the time, especially in bigger boats, you're going to have a block and tackle because there's a lot of force. The whole sail you know, is wanting to go to one side. Correct. So you need to be able to bring it in and out, uh -huh. depending on your wind angle and where you want to go. Correct. Uh, unless you have electric winches, you know, if you don't, and you're not Hercules, you need mechanical advantage. Oh, wonderful, no? In this particular case, in this particular example, we have a one, two, three, four lines. The mechanical advantage is number four. Yeah, four to one. Oh, that you means, multiply four times. Yeah, that means for every pound of pressure that you pull the line at the end, it's four pounds. Four pounds. So four if you're four. pulling, if you're pulling with a hundred pounds, it's like you're pulling with four hundred. Four hundred pounds. Yeah. Yes. This is uh, with a little bit. You know, you lose a little bit with a uh, uh, yeah for for uh, drag. refraction. Yeah. But you know, it's that's basically. But uh, this is uh, the theory. Is uh, yeah, this is yeah. this is the mechanical advantage definition, like uh, we explained in previous episode. Danny, we are going to include it in our series, the airboat. Yeah, this is something new <laughs> in your videos. This nice. will be good. Okay, Danny, uh, we are going to talk about the blades. Uh, it's a, an airplane, no? Yeah, like we were talking about the prop, but Correct. now we're going to talk exactly. about the frame. This is the leading edge, Yep. the trilling edge, Yep. that's the face, the back of the... Uh, and this is the pitch angle. Correct. In this particular example, in this particular uh, motor, uh, the angle is fixed. Yeah, this is fixed. Because it's an airboat, it's not an airplane. Correct. But even though it has an airplane motor and it has an airplane prop, it's still because it's an airboat, it's fixed. But uh, uh, I can I can change the pitch, no, no when the motor is, uh, is running. No, only uh, when it's off. I, I remove the cup. Yeah, you loosen the coupler and then you can rotate these. Uh, or you change the gear ratio. You change the gear ratio. Uh, in between uh, both right. gears. That, that's simple, no? Yep. That, this is nice, no? Yeah, this is nice. This is this is just like an airplane. No, this is actually an airplane motor. It is an airplane, of course. It's an airplane motor. This is a Conin Enel? Yeah, this is actually a Ly Lycoming. Ah, Lycoming. That's a Lycoming engine. It's a 0435. Uh, that's wonderful. I like it. And, uh, and uh, oh, the look at the radiator for the yeah, oil. Yeah, it's for the cooling system. And this is a carburetor system. So you see the yeah, carburetor. Yeah, it's carbureted. It's on the and carburetor. And the suction is in the bottom, no? The, is on the, the suction bottom. is in the Correct. bottom. Wonderful. This is a great, great, uh, great boat. And uh, it's always on the surface. Yep, always on the surface. I, I love it, this this uh, type of boats because uh, you don't have a salt water circulating. No. Up, nothing. There's only fresh water use, anyways. But not only that, there's no circulation. It's all air cooled. That's why they have the fins. Yeah, of course. On the uh, on the on the it's cylinders air, to keep the cool. It, it's an airplane motor. Danny, uh, because uh, this is the chapter for uh, rigging, yeah. uh, we are going to try to explain rigging in different type of boats. But uh, this is a great scenario because yeah. uh, it's an air boat and. Uh, uh, the, the, the lights is similar? Yeah, you got bow lights in the front. Uh, you have an anchor light up on the top. Anchor light. Same rules apply because if you're out there, if you go it, into the water, a boat, another yeah. airboat comes and needs to see you, so it's all on the regulations. Okay, we have a navigation light on, on front. Front and an anchor light up on top. Uh, anchor light, okay. Right. And exactly the same, right. the same degrees, 265, exactly Correct. the same. All right, perfect. Uh, one important consideration with the, with the fuel tanks. Uh, they have a, an, a, an a, a, a spare tank or most of them don't on my airboat i put a spare tank only because 
I want more range. Ah, I want okay. to go further than most people can go because I like to go in areas where Normally no the back. tank is here, no? The tank, there's a 20 gallon tank underneath here. Okay. Uh, which we can pull the cooler out and show you that. And then I put a 13 gallon tank on top. And you put that switch valve over there. And I have a shut off valve that I can shut it off, turn it to tank one, tank two. Ah, nice, nice. And then I have the, the it goes through the ray core and then to the high pressure pump that feeds to the... Correct. Well, not high pressure pump, it's a low pressure uh, pump. Yeah, but the, the lifting pump. The lift pump. The lift pump.